Erica Olson, and welcome to Inside SoCal. In the art world, Basquiat's flame burned bright, and at this exhibition in downtown LA, it takes a look at the art, but also the person that is Jean-Michel Basquiat. The name, the crown, the iconic artwork. Jean-Michel Basquiat left an indelible mark on the world. From Andy Warhol to Jay-Z, he inspired so many. But to his sisters, the curators of this exhibition, Jean-Michel Basquiat, King Pleasure, he was a big brother. And this exhibit offers a different way to see him, through their eyes, as a kid who grew up in Brooklyn. This is a really normal American family, and you feel that, and you see that, and from this normal American family, you know, out came this amazing artist, and um, and the path that it took for him to get there. And Lisan and I and our stepmother thought it would be really important for uh, you know the public and for his fans to know what made Jean Michel Jean Michel. You know, what were the things that he got from his childhood that made him the man that he became? There's over 200 pieces of original artwork, ephemera from growing up. We've got a recreation of his childhood living room and kitchen. And I think the surprise in all of this has been the number of people that walk through and say, oh my gosh, like we had that spike rack, that spice rack, or, you know, we had, you know, the Encyclopedia Britannica, you know, on our shelves. And, and uh, so I think it wound up being a really great way to connect the human in Jean-Michel, the human beings that also walk through the exhibition today. I think it's a very effective way to get familiar with what the artist's voice is. To be able to see where some of those things came from as he grew up, as he developed as an artist, that story, I think, gives the work itself even more uh, gravity, even more depth, and helps people connect with the art as they come through. Most of the work on display has never been seen before. Childhood drawings, the cartoons that inspired him, plus two of his largest pieces of work exclusive to this exhibit, brought for the first time here to LA, which held a very special place for Basquiat. He actually had a studio in Venice, California for a while and created a lot of work. And we have a few of the pieces that he created while he was in Los Angeles here in the exhibition, which is really great. Uh, he loved movies. So coming to Hollywood, coming to Los Angeles, that meant a lot to him. His fascination with pop culture led him to the 1980s art scene. Spending nights at New York clubs with celebrities and artists like Grace Jones, Keith Haring, and Andy Warhol. Jean-Michel was a huge fan of Andy Warhol when he was coming up as an artist. Andy was an extremely successful uh, icon in New York City at that time. They struck up a friendship. They struck up a, a mutual admiration. And like Warhol, Basquiat is known for bold imagery, like the three-point crown that is found in so many of his pieces. The crown, is, it's, it's an icon that Jean-Michel is known for, which is an incredible thing because he created it to sort of anoint royalty. People, artists, uh, athletes, poets, people that he admired, uh, work that he admired. Now, that crown, you see it, and it symbolizes Jean-Michel. I would say that it, it encompasses uh, just Jean-Michel as a person. You know, him creating that crown and deciding that he wanted to put that crown on himself because no one else was doing that for him. From his early years in Brooklyn to time spent in Los Angeles and on the New York scene, Jean-Michel's family intends to take you on a journey in this exhibit to understand his influences and how he developed as an artist. I think that Jean-Michel has paved that way for himself and carved a piece of history out for himself that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. To have come from the kid, you know, in the kitchen <laughs> that, you know, that we have on, uh, on display there to be a household name almost today and to be an artist that is um, taught in school. He's respected, he's loved, he is um, a famous artist, which is what he always wanted to be. The exhibition has been extended, but for a limited time, so we hope you have a chance to come see it in person. I'm Erica Olson for Inside SoCal. We'll see you next Sunday.